Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some E4. With the Oirat, we have taken an ungodly amount of territory from these um, Mingalese. That's what I'm going to call them, the Mingalese. And what we're hoping to do now... Ooh, more followers from Rifflin. Isn't that lovely? What I'm hoping to do right now is to basically just continue to swamp the Ming when time is ready. Ooh, Dali's popped out. Hello, Dali. So I'm going to wait until I can core every... You've got all those cores, and then I'm going to just try and grab even more of Ming as much as possible while we wait for Mongolia to be annexed and build up a small power base and continue to rob the delicious Bank of Ming. Don't we love it? I am unfortunately um, 5,000 in the hole and I only make about 2,000 manpower a year. Officers deserting. <laughs> Seemingly aimless wars. Bro, we've expanded. They're not Confucian, you can go in. Only three rebel factions in the outlier at the moment. You probably got enough army to kill all three. Absolutely, Poet. What's up, buddy, by the way? We should be fine. The Mongolians are taking care of at least some as well, which is great. Oh, I can't wait to use that mission. That'd be so good. All right. And that's desert. Beautiful. And we're not even losing that much money. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So one, two, one, two, and then split them in half. One there, and one there. And then the rest will just siege the stuff down. We obviously do have a lot of rebels. That's okay. And there's another there's another revolt in Yunnan. Okay, maybe we should actually keep these bad boys. If Dali and Confusion, they don't matter. They won't care about you. Exactly, yeah, we don't. I don't care. Um, so never mind. I'm going to go and kill those rebels real quick. What's that? Did I convert something? Realize I was converting anything. Um, let's try to increase our religious unity, which is not great. Yeah, it's not great. One hundred nine percent. Oh, I got a core. That was why. Awesome. The next core is not going to be sufficient. That one is September. So September next year is when we are going to be okay. Ooh, Nelly. That's a bad. That's a bad stuff. It being me. Lack of demand. Country before faith. Spine over construction of foreign spine. Yes. It's produced. It's just that we're getting a lot of, you know, negative events, obviously. Oh, crap. That's going to force, isn't it? Shit. Yeah, never mind. Jesus Christ. Go to the cap. Go to the cap. Go to the cap. An alliance from Hexi. No. Uh... I can now also raise another host, which is good. I will actually do that right now. Awesome. I have a fort in my capital. If you're going to take Amanda to Heaven, which I think you need to form Great Juan. Nope, I am not going to be taking Amanda to Heaven. You can just annex Ming. You don't need it. Oh, uh, they're going to enforce their demands. God damn it. Really hoping I can make them not do that. My prestige! God damn it. What a waste. Ah, it's so annoying. They're ruining my cores. F for prestige. No, stop making me lose stuff. Don't be a douche. Oh, God. That's actually really bad. I lost like 7,000 men. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? There's the race host. And there we go. 94%. Thank Christ. Oh, that took a long time. Cannon fodder. Gain manpower. And they will loot, get, they gain 50, 15 liberty desire. 15 liberty desire is unfortunately just, just too much. 
I would really like to do that, but unfortunately I can't because that will wreck me and I won't be able to annex them. Oh, I already have Beijing, don't worry. Hey, there we go. Perfect, that gives me a bit of manpower. Um, so that's actually mountains, so we actually can't do that. Christ. Everyone's got this crap. Oh, nice. We can actually go here then. Just stand here. And just look pretty for a little while. Yeah, manpower is going to be the big boy. But we're so big. Ah, no, Jin Separatists. Crap. I already have a claim on that. Jin, damn it. I'll have to try and beat them. If they pop out, and have to declare war on them pretty much instantly to take them. Okay, so now, as soon as this next batch of claims is over, <clears throat> I'm going to go on them again. 58. I've already got Beijing. We just have to get that. Here we go. Get both one of these. Okay. Ming is obviously absolutely destroyed. But I very much would like to try to take more of Ming before they get a chance to pop any more countries to pop out. The more you can annihilate and eat now, the better. 13 there. Pick that 13. Just a couple years, and then we're going to get him. Storms, no one cares. Alright, all rebels taken care of. Manpower is obviously garbage, but that's okay. Any more infantry we can get rid of? Get rid of him. Don't care about you. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you can't lose the horde, mate. You got to keep the horde forever. Here we go. Boom. Gonna wait for that to be done. Bad boy off. Couple more years, guys. And see your Tong. And then we'll be fine. Looks like this nation is going to pop out, sadly. Which is a bit annoying. Actually, if they do that, I can just directly attack them and eat them instantly. That won't be too bad. Oh, the lack of manpower is such a problem. We try and go to Zending. That won't be too bad. Oh, that's okay. If they, yeah, if they take that, actually, we can just eat them for free. And that'll be fine. Actually, I kind of want those rebels to secede. Very easy land for me to take. Alright, let's go. Ah, now here's the Ming troops. Damn. Ah, they're attacking me here. You suck. Here we go. Have I got an, an air strong enough? Yeah, I have a 562. It's so not good militarily, but everything else is fine. When's this truce up? Not till 68. I'm not waiting till then. They're going to keep popping out. So as soon as these claims are done, we're going to have to do it again. And that'll probably be the last time I fight them. And just take 100% war score in as much as possible. Try and literally eat their entire country. Oh, okay. Keep waiting. Wait for this batch to be done. July of 58. Basically one more year. Fantastic. We really do need the admin power for like humanist ideas though. Try and deal with all the rebels. 
Here we go. We got this, guys. Horde unit is not a gigantic problem. Um, because we're going to be able to get 100 horde, very, very easy horde unity soon. By attacking them. No, I have to wait for the admin thing. You could have created a lore out of this. Do it, man. Look forward to it. Okay, the Ming are dealing with stuff. Yeah, wait for the cores. And we're just getting a lot of claims on this, too. Really helping. Okay, let's go. Money's not exactly a big deal, to be honest. Let's try and remove, reduce a little bit of corruption. Well, the corruption does make things a bit easier. The unrest, I'd rather not have to deal with massive core uh, power costs. So there's mountains here, unfortunately. Oh, piss off with that. Anum Regency. Ooh. Current air will die. I might have a, might have a cheeky game crash here, lads. That just ruins me with one mil score. No way. Ooh. Five five one. I don't know. What do we think? Cancor? That's not the worst. No, that's alright. Because then I can immediately take. Obviously, I lost a little horde unity from that, but I get a lot back very shortly, so that's fine. Kanko has been chosen. That's fine. So I just need to get those troops out of the mountains. Rebler, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. He's an intricate web reaver. All right. They still have zero mandates. So they're garbage, so we should be fine. Introduce vision. No. That's annoying. Hello, Rebler. What's up? I am Aldrahill. By network construction. Awesome. Hope you're doing all right. That's fine. I lost my air, but that's okay. Royal marriage from Mongolia. Yes. Still annexing them. Good. Okay, and it's now 75. Awesome. Why is it reduced? That's weird, but that's fine. It needs to be a little closer. Just a few more cores now to finish up. We are now positive manpower. They'll go away very shortly. Okay, they're making a move. They're making a move. West, go south, go south, go south. Must have been Diplo rep, yeah. They increased Diplo rep. If we can catch them in Nanyang. Humanist instead of admin. I'm not sure what I want to go first necessarily. I'm I'm torn between humanist or admin. If I go humanist, I means I don't have to deal with I mean it just helps out so much because national unity is a big problem for rebels. Humanist religious unity 25%. It's just that's such a big difference. I'm not sure if you guys know about how the religious unity works, but look at that. I get plus 1.8 unrest. And the corruption, it hurts so bad. Oh, of course, Dipper goes up, but now he goes down. Of course, that makes sense, yeah. So that 1-8 unrest is very unpleasant. Yeah, yeah, admin is definitely the second idea. And then you get the flat 2 unrest reduction. You get heretics. You get years of separatism, which is great. Which is okay. Improved relations helps with the AE and heathens as well. And then the idea cost. And getting that, it, getting it first makes more sense because then you can reduce the cost of all other ideas. Humanist, then admin is my is my goal. Yeah, I'm probably going to harmonize with confusion, but humanist, then admin. That's my goal. Humanist, admin, and then like a quality or offensive. Or possibly, actually no, quantity. Humanist is insane. Humanist is easily the most broken idea in the game. Right, so they're there. We're going to... Of course I've lost it. Ah, oh my god, I've lost our amazing king. That sucks. Oh, I just realized we can contribute warriors. Oh, thank God. I'm going into Juan this game, yes. I will indeed be going into Juan. There we go, they're locked in. Well, they will be in a moment. So then we're going to go... I don't really need to worry about Horde Unity. I'm going to be able to wreck these guys without much of a concern. Just wait for the Horde Unity. It's going to be crazy, guys. Yeah, I'm focusing admin early heavily. 
At least a 551. Mill, mill power is going to be a problem, but I'm, with raiding, I should be fine. We're very advanced technologically. I know, we're just getting ready. We're getting ready. My cores are going to be finished in... 15th of July. Oh, it's a couple months then. Damn it. I'm not going to catch him. Yes, they're going to Yang Yang. Tills. Damn it. No, never mind. Damn you, Yang Yang. Nah, not worth. Yeah. I can still beat them in the hills, to be honest. So let's go... 2-2-2. Two, two, two. God, these generals are all actually the same. They are literally all the same. Please narrate my lore creation. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I only have 26 army tradition, unfortunately. But if I were to go the time of crisis, I would get 20. So we'll see about that at the end. Getting up on the mountains, aren't they? Come on, claims. You can do it. Come on. Where are they going to go now? And young. Okay, that's fine. We'll just get at these sieges then. We'll just nab these sieges for ourselves. And boom. Oh, okay. Uh, North Hebe. Yes, we'll state that. Thank you kindly. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Declare war. Yes, we're breaking a truce. Take mandate. We could call in Sedeg Yohir, but I don't want to. In fact, I might even just annul my alliance with them soon. But it, by being allied with at least one other nation, it really helps move the AI off from attacking you. It's probably the main thing that's allowed me so that Chagti or Uzbek don't attack me. Chagti is currently fighting um, Muscovy. Oh, God. But once we've done, once we've finished beating up Ming, we're going to need to start focusing on the Western powers. So that'll be fun. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's declare war. We're going to go take mandate again. 50%. It's 50% for everything, so why wouldn't we? I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to sit on 3 stability. It does massively reduce my unrest, but I might be doing war again. So... I'm going to wait until they go to the steps. I'm going to try and wait for a little bit. Yeah, I know. I need to get basically everything for Juan. Go straight to the cap. Get as many sieges as possible. To the capital. There we go. These stacks basically everywhere. No, I'm going to be staying Horde the whole time, my friend. I want admin for the core creation cost reduction. I'm going for a basic kind of world conquest, I think. Hey, hello. Going to Wuchang. Change of plans. Catch him if you can, guys. Admin's just excellent for coring, yeah. So they do have 19,000 men, but they have no war enthusiasm, and they're basically dead, so we don't care. Let's hold up here. We want to see if we can catch them. They're going to Jingzhou. We can't get there because of Wuqing, unfortunately, but we can get all these sieges. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's head back to the, let's head to the capital. We've got all this northeastern territory. And remember, we are getting a little bit of horde unity from, from raiding. Do it. Where's the forces? I guess they are trying to spam troops out. Here they come. They trying anything sneaky. Get them. Something like that. 
Yes, there is that little northern area in Korea, but that's fine. They won't pop. They won't pop out because this is Ming basic land, except for that little bit in Yan. Sorry, here. This, except for Korea, claims this is all um, like base land. So because it's such base land, may, they won't lose it to rebels. So I can just keep that there and keep beating it up. I probably, but I, I wanted to leave this one because it's Yan. That's why I took up to there because this will, unless Korea takes it, it will stay Ming forever. Nothing will change that. Now I'm just going to try and get a lot of Horde Unity by uh, raiding a little bit. Let's take a look at how much cash we make from that. We made 7.8 from just flat out money. That's nice. But now we need to go kill their armies. So let's just get this gigantic stack over here, please. While we siege down their capital. Here we are. Here as well. And they only have 9,000. There's only 9,000 men. They have 20, though. Ah, damn it. If they start going north, that's actually fine for us. Here we go. This time gives us time to get that siege. Because they can't beat us there because that's still farmlands. Even if they fight us with a double army, we still beat them. So if we can drive them north, we'll be fine. Because then we can just get the massive shock bonus. Okay, so the whole army is actually here. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a couple mercs. Just to help me out a little bit so we can hold the line. There, eight, there is 18,000 here, basically. And Mongolia is taking that, which is great. Come on. Be an ass. Be cool. Most I take them towards the Golden Horde when they introduced your Horde governments. Yeah, they were really broken at the start, weren't they? Alright, let's get over here because we can catch them in those dry lands and we can kill that 9k because they're going to Taos. Oh, no, they're going to Taozao. Damn it. I thought they were going to go north. Baggers. Going to Hangzhou. I don't want to fight them in the mountains. I formed Golden Horde a couple times. It's pretty good. Okay. Gotta wait now, because we can't really fight them. We're gonna leave one soldier behind and then go siege this. Here where they go. Come on. Yin Yang. Okay, I think they're gonna try and go to Wu Chao, so let's go. Ah, damn it. So sneaky. Turning around all the time. Come on, go this way. Go fight them. Fix the trouble revolt. Cool, that helps. Would you rate Rake 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 Privilege one of the hardest thing in the game? Rake Privilege is easy. It's one of the easiest things in the game. Just play long term and play smart. It's really easy. This is harder. Yes, okay, they're finally here. Oh my god. No, stop that. Get over here, bro. No, I've tried three mountains. I've never been able to do it. I just don't have the patience. I just... Oh my god, they stopped their siege of Xinjiang. Why? Ah, oh, you suck. What are you doing? Oh, we, need, we do need that, to be fair. Okay, go to Runing. And there we go. Ah! Can't catch him. Sneaky. Being sneaky. There we go. Got that horde unity from, you know, attacking people. Looks like they are trying to move east. Just a little bit. So we're going to move our forces right over there to be ready. We're playing a bit of a cat and mouse game right now. The problem is the longer it goes on, the stronger they're going to get because they're going to build more men. That's sort of really easy. Just got just to keep put, just gotta keep doing it, dude. Decline of tribal influence. Nice. So far, this is the only, I've only played two hours, or three hours of the Manchu update, so I can't really give an opinion of it just yet. 
Oh, their forces have moved west again. Once I get these two forts, it's going to be a lot easier to just chase them around. Things will get a lot easier for us. Here's a good trick if you don't know it. Um, put one soldier with an AI seed stack. Just in case the AI randomly breaks the siege as it did up north. Oh my god, they're here. Um, then you can very quickly deal with it. And you, you can still hold the progress of it. There's the sack of Nanjing, baby. I am probably not going to take Nanjing. Lose professionalism and prestige. Gain 250 jackets and 55 military power. Yes. You. Come again. Let's go over there. Let's go get him. Yeah, let's let's uh it's got some historical depth to that, doesn't it? Oh boy. There you go. Go get those sieges if you please. Time to come on Twitch stream because I'm bored in class. There you go, Pen Kitten. I love it. I love it. Get another Merc. Yeah. Orbit is fun as hell right now. It is so stupid how good they are. Ah, damn, I went to the one river province. I'm an idiot. Alright. Okay. We do need to try and get a little bit more. We're actually getting quite a lot of horde unity just from murdering people. And there's the siege of Wu Chang. Migratory tribes in Pergaria. Ooh, base production. Nice. Try and get a little bit of looting. Try and increase horde unity. By just basically leaving behind all these troops, you just get a ton of unity. It really helps out. And that's only 10 years away now. That's awesome. Great. Obviously, we're never going to get Renaissance, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. It might actually be worthwhile trying to enforce Renaissance in Beijing. That's not impossible. Once you're super easy to form now, you can make it in the first decade if you keep it king. Yeah. So you, yeah, I don't want to make Banshee, though. All right, let's go. Why are tribes revolt? What? Oh, what the hell? I didn't even have a chance for them to rebel. In a pile of autonomy, and they get 15 influence and lose 20 prestige. Uh, that only lasts for 10 years, and to be honest, their influence isn't that much of a problem. I'm just going to accept it. There you go. Go away. I don't really care about autonomy. I just don't. It doesn't really affect me. Right, go get them. 24th of May. Chad Alderhill plays Oyer into Yon. Yeah. Yeah, one does manage to into Ming, but I played it too much time. I got minus three stab for days by truce breaking three times. I have truce breaked plenty of times now. It's a bit ridiculous. I'm gonna get a little bit of cash now, try and increase my horde unity. Actually, I'm gonna try and get sieges, screw cash. I wanna I wanna just beat people up right now. It's more efficient to siege as many things as possible. Good god, we're wrecking face. Alright. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Oh my god, even in the fire fit. And we stack wiped them. <laughs> okay, 18,000 men killed. And we only lost about 2,000. Brilliant. Alright, that's it for this episode, guys. Do surely like and a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I was Al Dragon Teenage Speed. This has been E4 playing Aura. Bye bye.